I'm looking at an article right now that says ad spending on TikTok defies advertising slowdown. And again, TikTok, man, they are just, they're just killing it, man. Basically, it says that between the first three quarters of 2022 and the final one, we saw ad spending on TikTok rise 20%. Um, and this is from Ben Allison, who's the head of media operations at VaynerMedia. So this is Gary Vee we're talking about. This is his company. And, he, and if they're still rolling in in the TikTok advertising budget, then um, I think content creators should also be doing the same, obviously. Um, it's still early this year to say for sure, but anecdotally, we see this trend of investment in TikTok continue uh, to increase with quarterly comps expected to grow at least for the duration of this year. So, yeah, that's hard to argue with that. Um, <laughs> I don't, again, like I don't see any reason to not convert a lot of long form content into shareable short form content. And the fact that a lot of brands still don't understand that, especially retail brands, it it confuses me. It confuses the heck out of me. And I, I, I just I don't even know what else to say besides like double down on TikTok, double down on YouTube shorts um, and find out what really works for your niche. Um, because for me, like I, I do a lot of competitive Apex stuff. And so um, I actually see a lot of success in there. I see high engagement because the community is relatively small and nobody's making like really valuable content about it. Mm -hmm. And TikTok is the perfect distribution channel to get that content out to those specific viewers because they're the ones that are looking it up. So um, that's another big tip with short form content that um, I think most people don't know is like, Start out by niching down. Find the smallest common denominator of the genre you want to be in. So the way I thought of it was like, okay, I like video games. Mm -hmm. Let's niche down. I like Apex. Yep. Let's niche down even more. I like the competitive aspect of Apex. Mm -hmm. Let's niche down even more. And let's break down the strategies, the thoughts, the, the theories that go behind those competitive Apex games. And that's where I actually found a lot of success. Like, I think I have, I mean, it's not a lot, but I have about 5,000 followers on TikTok and it wasn't particularly hard. I just had to make sure that my content was finding the right people. So, yep. Yep. um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's an insane year for uh, short form content. It's going to, it's going to continue. Um, it will be the winner of the year when we're reviewing it about a year from now. No. Yeah. <laughs> are you doing any uh, short form content right now? Or are you, uh, kind of, kind of on hold right now and just working, really want to put all your effort in Bautissimo right now. You know, I, I was just talking about this uh, with my girlfriend. I was doing about a year ago, I was doing some r cooking shorts on the regular yeah. and getting a few thousand people to watch on the daily. And, uh, you know, the goal of, of that was actually not so much to gain a following, but it was actually to make like a digital video cookbook. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to like give to family and friends and just generally like kind of share like what I enjoy cooking and the, that type of stuff. So yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we're going to bring that back into the fold for uh, 2023 and get some of that going.